Just finalising the paperwork for the Lomax gap. <laughs> yeah, we've got them right where we want them. Oh, it's just bizarre. We're seeing each other. I'm a lawyer. Why wouldn't you tell me you were selling your house? It's not a secret. We're just renting now instead of owning. We still get to live there. Oh, you should tell me these things. I can get them done properly for you. Not everything has to go for you. I don't need a babysitter. I says all I want to do is help. There he is, Dennis the Menace. Fergus. Can you give us a minute? Sure, no rush. Just got to uh, go through some paperwork with you. Be outside. Wait, what? what? Paperwork? Leaseholds, boiler, electrical stuff. I see you've got yourself a business partner. And now I've given you cash to pay your debts. Perhaps you'll start thinking about putting your thieving days behind you, Ace Save Trish having to put a padlock on the tiller, you know. It was just the once. I was going to put the money back in. James! It's uh, Fergus, isn't it? Let me guess the scam. Mortgage fraud? The quick sale cost cutter? How exactly are you planning on stealing Steve's home from him? Stealing? No, we struck a fair deal, mate. And don't worry, we used the proper lawyer to help us. You were the bully growing up, weren't you? Always picking on the weak. I won't allow you to do that to Steve. Weak, am I? Maybe that's why I don't tell you about my life, cos all I get is disapproval. Damn. I forgot the popcorn. Get out of here. Well, don't act the victim. I'm not allowed to feel annoyed at you for cutting me out of this enormous decision. I can't just sit back and watch you destroy your life. And there it is right there. You don't trust me. How can I, when I hear that you've been thieving Trisha's cash? That's low, Steve. OK, I admit, there's no excuse. And I'm sorry if you feel like I'm deceiving you, but I have to fix my own problems. James, I've stumbled my way through life, mistake after mistake, and I'm surprised as anybody else I'm still here. So I'm not going to let my kids down again. I'm going to provide for them now, and I need to sort that myself. I just want to help. That's all. I think you're making a huge mistake with this deal. Let me have a look, that's all. I have to do this on my own. I don't get to feel like an adult in this relationship. You need to start treating me as an equal from now on. Can you do that for me, please? Why are you so ashamed of me, eh? Of what I do for a living. I was defending you against George, the condescending pig. I thought accountant was a nice touch. You look hot in a suit. I can handle it when you're being stuck up when it comes to what wine you drink or what movie we watch, but we agreed you was going to treat me as your equal. I guess you can't do that. I was just trying to lighten the mood by apologising for me like I'm one of your students. Stop behaving like one of my students, then. It was obvious what you were doing, trying to wind James up like that. My 11-year-olds demonstrate more subtlety. Oh, you want to talk about subtlety? How about the way you were eating up Steve with those hungry eyes? What? Uh, I thought it was just James that you drool over. But hey, why stop this? <laughs> and stop with the damn drinking! You are blowing this completely out of proportion. No, you put more effort into impressing John Paul than you have into our entire relationship. <laughs> I know that it grates on you that I'm nothing like him. I hardly even noticed he was there. Oh, give me a break, James. I'm sorry that I'm not the man you hoped I'd be. Of course you are. Can we just drop this? You don't get to decide when we're done. I need an apology. Look, uh, let's just go to bed. I'm tired. No, not this time. Steve and I are nothing. You were just using me to make him jealous. That's it. That's what this is. I'm not the one with a problem with my past, all right? That's you. And you make me feel completely worthless for it, too. Should I just expect this now? Is, is this our life together? Yeah. I'm tired, too. You can't even give me an apology. Which just shows me how serious you are about us.
You are so out of touch with reality, you can't even see. And that worthlessness that you feel, that doesn't come from me, mate. Go and take a walk and sober up. I can't even bear to look at you. I'll tell you one thing. Steve never made me feel like this. You look like we've had the same kind of evening. I'm so confused, Dee. When things are good with me and George, it's like this energy, this, this, this electric energy. And then when things are bad, he makes me feel guilty for even drawing breath. I'm not a bad person, am I? We're all rotten to the core. It's about who's better at pretending, darling. It's like your James impression. <laughs> <laughs> I could do George, you'd be like. It's a bit like Sean Connery. Yeah. No, 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 never compare George to Sean Connery, all right? Definitely not in front of him. His ego will go through the roof. <laughs> You're not a bad person, John Paul. You're gentle, kind. Some of the best years of my life was being married to you. So why did we throw it all away? I mean, we had fun, didn't we? I mean, well, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, but it was real. <laughs> <laughs>